everyone. Uh, my name is John. I'm a software architect from Intel China, working on PyTorch optimization. Um, I'm very excited to be here, to, to be um, a fly across the ocean, and uh, to be here and attend the uh, PyTorch conference live this year, and meet so many uh, friends in person. So previously, we just communicated via the internet, via GitHub. And yeah, it's very cool to meet you or in person. Um, I have been working with a big Intel team from both China and the US on a PyTorch project for more than uh, four years. So majority of the, my colleagues are located in China. Um, so I'm also here to carry in uh, their greetings to all of you here. So in my today's talk, I'm going to share uh, Intel's uh, optimization work for PyTorch. I will start with the an overview of our work, uh, followed by a deep dive into Intel extension for PyTorch, and finally end with the uh, outlook for the future. So we contribute to PyTorch uh, from two passes. We contribute directly to PyTorch upstream, and we also use Intel extension for PyTorch as a staging area uh, for opti optimizations to be upstream to PyTorch later. So it has been a four-year journey for Intel to contribute to PyTorch upstream. So this timeline shows uh, our past contributions uh, to upstream side by side with Intel's uh, hardware advancements for data center CPU over the time. So the upper swim lane shows Intel's hardware advancements um, on top of the advanced vector extensions almost for every generation Intel adds the uh, new hardware extension to accelerate the dot product compute for various data types, like uh, uh, Bflow 16 and Int8, um, where dot product compute is the most compute-intensive operations in deep learning workload. So there will be more uh, hardware advancement to come uh, in the next generation Intel CPU and GPU. So the bottom swim lane show our um, contribution to PyTorch. Uh, to make sure that PyTorch can not only benefit from these hardware features, but also in an ease of use manner. We integrated one DN library to accelerate the convolution and matrix multiplication operations. Uh, we also adds the uh, optimizations directly to, to PyTorch uh, for those memory intensive operations. But there could be a time that our optimizations cannot be upstreamed to PyTorch um, on time due to various reasons. But uh, we hope that our customers and also the community users can get access to these optimizations early. That's why we created Intel extension for PyTorch, or with this short name, IPAX. So with IPAX, users can get on average a 20% or above performance boost over the stock PyTorch uh, with the various data types. So this chart is an example of AP32 inference uh, performance performance boost uh, on various uh, popular deep learning models. So IPEX also pr provides the uh, uh, usability features so that uh, users can use these uh, optimizations easily. I will share more details about these uh, features uh, later uh, in the following deep dive slides. So IPEX uh, extend the key PyTorch components to get these performance boosts. Um, in, the, in the 
architecture diagram on the right hand side, the boxes in the blue background are the IPEX extended components on top of the uh, PyTorch components, which are illustrated in uh, the white background. IPEX extends the PyTorch from eager mode, graph mode, and the runtime. So for eager mode, uh, IPEX adds the uh, custom modules to accelerate the key deep learning uh, computes. Uh, for, for example, the uh, convolution and the linear with pre packed weight, the merged embedding table, and the RSTM, etc. IPEX also uh, provides uh, fused optimizers to speed up the op op uh, PyTorch optimizer. Um, it also provides the um, APIs to quantize FP32 model to integrate a model with a good recipe uh, to achieve uh, reasonable accuracy. Uh, for graph mode, IPEX can recognize the key uh, graph fusion patterns from popular deep learning uh, workloads. For example, the convolution linear with epilogue op operations and the multi head attentions, et cetera. So for um, the fusions with uh, memory intensive operations uh, are optimized within, inside IPEX directly, while the um, fusions with convolution and the metamol are supported via 1DN library. For runtime, um, IPEX provides the fine grained control over uh, for the uh, CPU runtime, like uh, uh, thread affinity setting and the memory allocator configuration, et cetera. So all these uh, optimizations are uh, available for both Python and the C++ deployment. Now let me share some successful stories of IPEX. So IPEX has been integrated into TorchServe, the PyTorch, a model serving library for inference deployment. Up to 7x performance boost was achieved with IPEX. Uh, we have a pre recorded presentation for the conference this year. Welcome to check it out. Uh, Media Cloud is an end to end AI based solution uh, from one of our cu uh, customers. PyTorch is being used. Uh, to, uh, pro pro uh, to process uh, uh, in the me media process pipeline for tasks like image denoising and uh, super resolution, et cetera. Um, IPEX contributed to 10x performance boost on top of other software hardware advancements. So now let, let me share uh, some more details uh, about how a PyTorch user can leverage these features uh, in the tech deep dive. So IPEX API is designed to be simple to use, less intrusive uh, to the user code, and uh, compliant with the PyTorch API as much as possible. So IPEX provides a single API called IPEX.optimize to enable almost all the IPEX optimizations for the model with EP32 and BFlow16 data types. The example on the right hand side shows an example of BERT EP32 inference. Uh, the highlighted code change are all that needed to enable IPEX optimization. So, with the uh, uh, most recent 1.13 IPEX release, user can also use a new flag called graph mode to get a graph mode, mode, mode module. Um, we, we, which is captured by Torch Dynamo or uh, Torch Script, so that they don't have to explicitly call the JIT trace or JIT freeze any longer. So IPEX quantization API follows the same usage as PyTorch. Uh, the example on the right shows a typical usage of uh, the post-training quantization, which follow the same flow as PyTorch uh, in the four steps, like um, uh, defining the quantization configuration, model preparation, calibration, and conversion. But underneath, IPEX provides the uh, quantization recipe to decide 
the right data types to, to, to be used for all the activation tensors in the model. So this uh, quantization recipe improved the model accuracy and uh, speed up the model based on IPEX graph fusion. IPEX also provides a set of API on top of open MP runtime um, to provide the fine grained control of CPU thread. User can specify a set of cores to run a model and map the open MP thread to core. So affinitizing the uh, thread to core uh, improve the uh, cache locality. With the uh, asynchronous task API, user can also spawn multiple uh, tasks, asynchronous tasks, with the core allocation and thread affinity setting to avoid the thread contention and uh, uh, frequent thread synchronization among the tasks. On top of these APIs, IPEX provide the multi-stream API, which can automatically do the batch split and, and uh, run uh, these uh, uh, input in parallel. It's, it spawns uh, multiple asynchronous tasks to handle them. So here we call uh, each task as a stream. So with this uh, uh, multi-stream API, uh, the model's uh, inference throughput is improved overall. IPEX also provide a workload launcher script uh, called IPEX Run, uh, which provide a similar fine-grained CPU thread control uh, at the process level. It also sets the optimal memory allocator, like JE malloc, and uh, the optimal memory configuration, like memory uh, pooling and the recycling policies, automatically. So, uh, the first example on the right-hand side shows that we launch uh, two resident 50 instances with four cores allocated for each. In the second example, we apply the same core allocation to launch uh, hacking face BERT training tasks with IPEX optimization and a BFLOW16 data type. So note here that IPAX has already been integrated into Hugging Face and it can be enabled with a flag. So with the latest IPAX 1.13 release, user even don't need to uh, modify that model code. Uh, they, they, they just need to add uh, auto IPAX with the desired uh, data type uh, to the launcher to get all the IPAX optimizations. We call it codeless optimization. Okay, so I have uh, introduced a lot about uh, our work on CPU optimization. So uh, next I, I will talk a little bit about our work on Intel uh, discrete GPU optimization. So Intel discrete GPU is still new and now its support is available through IPEX. Just like CUDA, it provides the full uh, functionalities that uh, PyTorch uh, accelerator device should support. User follow the same standard uh, PyTorch programming model with the XPU device name. So we implemented all the PyTorch operations based on one API programming model. Mm, the 1DN and the 1MKL libraries are being used to uh, implement the convolution uh, matrix multiplication, uh, FFT, those uh, computer intensive operations. While the memory intensive operations are implemented directly with the SQL programming language. A preview release is available with PyTorch 1.10 and a uh, unified release, which contains both IPEX CPU and GPU optimization, will be available with uh, PyTorch 1.13 soon. So as a next step, 
we will continue to contribute our optimizations to PyTorch Core and its ecosystem projects. For PyTorch Core, we are closely working with Meta engineers uh, to optimize for PyTorch 2.0. As an example, uh, we are contributing the IPEX graph optimizations to the new PyTorch uh, DL compiler Torch inductor, and we have seen a promising performance result. Uh, Jason has already shared some early performance results uh, early today in his keynote. On the other hand, we will also um, continue to engage with the uh, PyTorch ecosystem projects uh, like Torch Vision, Torch Serve, Torch Bench, Hugging Face, uh, PyG, and Deep Speed. We, we will continue to add the support of uh, Intel's new hardware advancements to IPEX as well. So last but not least, um, PyTorch has gaining very great popularity uh, from China. If you check the region of interest of PyTorch from the Google Trends, you will notice that China is on the top. So as a team from China, we like to act as a PyTorch evangelist to support PyTorch community better in China. That's all I want to share today. So here are some uh, links to the uh, IPEX code base and the documentation. So the, this QR code help you access these uh, links uh, uh, e easier. So IPEX is an open source project, so we welcome the feedbacks and the contribu contributions from the community. Thank you all. Thank you.